everyone, it's Abby. So today we're going to take a look at my very first project I made in my craft room in Wales. I had been wanting to join Shannon Makes Corset Hoodies so long. I was a little late, but I got in on the tail end of it. Shannon was inspired by the Cider Corset Hoodie. She combined a few free patterns from Mood to create her own version. She hosted a sew along in February on Instagram for anyone who wanted to create their own. I was able to get out to a nearby fabric store to pick up some sweatshirt fabric to create my own version. I found a great forest green and some pink poly cotton for the lining. I really liked the idea of having a contrast color on mine, so I got some matching pink twill tape for the ties and lacing. Lastly, I got some matching forest green rib knit for the cuffs on lime. So let's get sewing! I printed, taped, and cut out my free mood patterns before I got started. I will be combining the Gordonia hoodie pattern and the briar top pattern, as used by Shannon Makes for her corset hoodie. I take a look at the pieces and figure out which ones I will need. I've been told the corset part of the briar top is rather small, as it's meant for stretch fabric, so I start with measuring those pieces. I want to do a mock-up of these pieces with the lining fabric first. I pinned and traced the pieces onto my doubled fabric. I'm adding half inch to the top and bottom and quarter inch to each side to start out. I cut those mock-up pieces out. I added a little extra to the front to add the front zipper later. I already forgot one addition I wanted to make, so I retrace the front two pieces and sketch a small point to the bottom front of the pieces. I pin and machine sew the corset mock-up together with a half inch seam allowance. Off camera I tried on the mock-up and realized I needed extra room for my hips. I ripped the mock-up apart and started tracing the side and back pieces to add some width to the bottom. I had measured how much needed to be added and distributed the addition to the bottom seams of all the pieces I'll be adding to. I pencil in the new lines and taper it into the waist. I cut the new lining pieces out.
I machine sewed up the second mock-up off camera, and here I am showing how it lines up much better than before. Now that I'm happier with the mock-up size, I rip that apart and prepare to cut out the main fabric. I lay the corset lining pieces out on the doubled green sweatshirt fabric. I pin these in place. I cut out the corset pieces. I lay the briar top back piece along the fold of my doubled lining piece, and I lay the gordonia back piece on top of it. I want to use the arm side and neckline of the gordonia hoodie pattern and the bottom of the briar top so it lines up with the corset part. I move them around until it makes sense. I trace my usual edits for length and pin. I also measure as I go to make sure it will fit my measurements. the front pieces of both patterns down similar to how I did the back pieces. I fold and move around until it lines up and pin in place. I trace anywhere I need to add a bit to combine the two patterns. I err on the larger side. I cut out my lining pieces, adding seam allowances at the front for the zipper. I checked my side seams to my corset piece, trace and cut off a bit of the bottom to line up. Off camera, I machine sewed up my third mock-up to test the fit of the bodice pieces along with the corset piece. It's looking good, so I'll move on to the outside fabric. I lay out my bodice pieces on doubled green fabric and pin in place. Diana's really liking how soft the sweatshirt fabric is. I cut out the bodice pieces. I 
I pin the hood to my doubled lining fabric. I've seen that it's rather large, so I want to test it before finalizing the shape. I cut out the hood with a bit extra space in the front and back. I was worried it was too shallow and I'd rather cut away than have to add. I pin the hoodie sleeve, the hood, and the cuff piece to my doubled green fabric. At this point I hadn't gotten the rib knit for the cuffs, so I wasn't sure what I was doing for that yet. I add some extra length and width to the sleeves and cut all the pieces out. I won't be lining the sleeves. I serge all the edges of my corset pieces. I pinned the corset together and machine sew up the seams. to make everything look professional, so I'm adding quarter inch top stitches to both sides of each of the seams. This flattens the seam and makes it look better at the same time. Off camera I had sewn up the corset lining. I finger pressed the seams. I create boning channels on both sides of each seam, using the machine a little over a quarter inch from the edge to fit my quarter inch plastic boning. I pin and machine sew up the shoulder seams of the lining. I machine top stitch along the shoulder lining seams to flatten the seams. I machine sew the outer shoulder seams. I machine top stitch the shoulder seams on both sides of the outer piece, similar to the corset seams. I pin the lining to the main fabric, right sides to right sides, and machine sew the bottom back seam. I 
I folded all that around and pinned the raw edge to the inside. I machined top stitch along the bottom back hem to flatten the seam, quarter inch from the edge. I pin the front bottom lining to the main fabric, wrong sides to wrong sides, and add two rows of machine gathering stitches. I pin the front bodice seam to the top of the front corset pieces, gathering between the markings and pinning the gathers down. I pin the corset lining to the other side to sandwich the gathers in between. I machine sew that seam up. I pinned the lining to the outer fabric along the armhole, wrong sides to wrong sides. I pin the open sleeve top to the armhole. I machine sew that seam up. I surge along that seam. Also surge along the side of the back bodice piece. I surge along the raw edges of the open sleeve. I machine top stitch along the sleeve head. I pin and machine stitch the sleeve together.
Moving the sleeve to the inside, I pin the top back seam of the corset, right sides to right sides, and machine sew that seam up. Having folded the seams right side out, I press the seams of the corset. I cut lengths of plastic boning for the corset seams and round the edges. I'm using two bones per seam. I insert them into the pockets I created in the lining. With the bones inserted, I press them so they flatten out. I top stitch a quarter inch along the top of the corset so the seams lie flat. Now I need to finish off the bottom of the corset. I pin right sides to right sides along the bottom, making sure the rest of the hoodie stays out of the way. I had left enough room for seams when cutting the bones, so I machine stitched that seam up. I flip the corset right side out. I press the bottom seam of the corset part. I fold and press a crease on the back end of the corset. I fold the raw edges to the inside and pin the back seam together. I measure and cut boning for the back seam. It helps reinforce the lacing. I fold the boning into the lining and pin along the inside edge of the bone.
I machine sew as close to the bone on the inside as I can get. I machine sew a quarter inch top stitch along the bottom seam of the corset. I hand whip stitch along the back seam to close it off. I pin the side back seam to the center of the two boning channels. I later found out I was supposed to do this step before finishing the corset part. That's why it ended up so hard to do. <laughs> Whoops. I found the center with my pin and was able to carefully get the seam to line up. I carefully machine sew that seam up. I hand sew the seam to the lining so it would stay flat. I serge the edges of my hood pieces. I serge the front edges of my hoodie where the zipper will be attached, and along the neck. I pin and machine sew the hood pieces up. I flatten the center hood seam and top stitch along both sides. I sewed up the hood lining off camera and pinned it to the hoodie to test fit. I was told ahead of time the hood would be way too big, so I just wanted to make sure my head wasn't too big or something. I finally got my rib net in. The color match is close enough. I pinned my cuff pattern to doubled rib knit. I cut those pieces out. I line up my hood seams. As you can see, my usual hoodie is a lot smaller. I measure and remove an inch and a quarter from the bottom back of the hood and taper it into two inches at the bottom front. I 
measure and remove an inch from the front of the hood. I repinned the lining to the main hood and surged along the edge of both. I cut two inches off the end of the sleeve, they were too long. I sew the cuff edge together with a straight stitch. I fold the cuff in half and test the fit. I place a pin at the centers of the cuff edge and the sleeve edge and line them up. I stretch and pin the cuff to the sleeve. I machine sew the cuff on from the inside. I serge the raw edge of the cuff seam. I top stitch the cuff seam from the inside. I pinned the zipper on the front. Using my zipper foot, I sew the zipper along the edge. Fun fact, I used to hate zipper feet because they really didn't work well, so I used to use a regular foot to sew on my zippers or hand sew. I think they've gotten better, so I'm going to start using them again. <laughs> I flipped the zipper to the outside and top stitch along the edge. I place a pin at the center back of the neck. I pin the hood to the neck of the hoodie, making sure to fold the last inch over for the edge of the hood. I machine sew that seam up. I measure and cut a piece of boning for under the zipper at the front of the corset.
I hand whip stitch along the inside edge of the zipper to hide the raw edges and keep everything in. I insert the bone piece as I go. As you can see, my zipper I found was too big, so I need to shorten it. I remove teeth from the top and cut off the end, leaving a tail. I fold the end under the neck seam to hide it. I pin pink twill tape along the neck seam to encase the raw edges. I hand sew the twill tape in place along the top edge. I trim the extra seam off. I sew the zipper end down. I hand sew the rest of the twill tape on to hide everything. When trying things on, I realized the corset was a bit too small in the back. I really didn't want that big of a lacing gap. I machine sew up some small pieces of green to the pink lining to attach an extender to the back of the corset. I trim and flip the extender piece and test the size. I pin along the edge. I machine top stitch along the top and bottom. I machine sew a line about an inch from the edge of the extender. I cut a half inch away from the line I just sewed. I pin along the edge. I hand sew the edge, leaving a bit at the top. I insert the bone and finish off the edge. I hand sew the extender to the back of the corset. I hammer insert large grommets into the hood on the outside for the ties to go through. I also set large grommets into the back edge of the corset.
I've set five grommets into the back on each side. I pin and machine sew the edge of the hood in place. I run a second row of stitches right next to the first. I cut a length of the twill tape for my hoodie ties. Using a safety pin, I insert the tie into my hood through the grommets. Beanie wanted to help. I fold under and hand sew the ends of the ties. Using the twill tape again, I lace up the back of the corset, leaving tails at the bottom to tie. I hand sew the twill tape along the side seams to hide raw edges. As a final step, I add a small bit of flossing in pink to the bottom of the corset bones along the edge. Thank you for joining me today as I made my corset hoodie for the sew along with Shannon Makes. I love the green and pink contrast I used. It reminds me of Sailor Jupiter. I had a lot of fun making this hoodie and I really liked the addition of the zipper. It makes it much more usable for me. I had so much of this forest green sweatshirt material left over when I was done that I actually ended up making matching sweatpants and a regular sweatshirt. Keep an eye out for the videos of those projects coming soon. If you liked this video and want to see more sewing and costume videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing!
Can't, I can't get both of you. I swear. Right. 